hello everyone and welcome back to my channel on today i'm standing in my master bedroom it's already april and it is time to get rid of the dark colors and come with something fresh and new so the black has to go i have already started to paint my room in my previous video you saw that i hadn't painted my room since i want to say 2010 2012 so i've already started taking the yellow away and adding gray to the top of the chair rail i'm not going to change the below the chair rail because it's a charcoal gray and i do like the color i'll just be changing the top half as you can see i've already started to add the lighter gray above the chair rail now I will be doing this in stages so I don't have to tear my room apart. Now in the room, I also decided that I want to move the furniture around just a bit. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go with it, but again, I'll share with you guys uh, as I go along what I'm doing or why I did what I did So I just want to give you guys a view of the whole room I'm standing back by the patio door and you could get kind of a few, full view of the room Now my bed I can't move uh, So I'm gonna leave the sleeping area the same uh, And it's because of the windows and the doors and the radiators. That's the only wall that I could fit my bed on and that's in front of the windows. But I'm gonna finish up my painting and I'll be back to show you guys how I decided to move the furniture around. Okay, I'm done with my painting. Um, here I have changed my room around. I just moved a few things. I moved the fireplace, um, the dresser and the chest and the chairs. Of course, I said the bed wasn't going to move. So where the dresser was, I have my seating area now. And where the fireplace was, I put my dresser. And I still have lots of room going from around the armoire to the master bathroom. Also here in the bathroom, we're freshening it up also to bring a little bit more light take away the dark colors um, to make it more spring and it will also coordinate with the master bathroom as far as the colors i want to apologize for the background noises i do have the windows and the door open so if you hear it that's what it is So in here, I'll be changing my shower curtains, um, the rugs on the floor, lightening up the towels, and changing some of the decor pieces. Very simple. Leaving the bathroom and going back to the master bedroom. So I'm just gonna turn around so that you could see it from the opposite direction now. And there is my sleeping area all the way to the back. Again, the room is 16 by 24. And now I have my seating area in the middle. So I moved my TV and fireplace to the middle of the room facing the seating area. I also picked up an ottoman along with two wingback chairs. So since I'm doing the bedroom in stages, the next thing I'm going to do is lay my area rug. Um, I have a eight by 10 and a half area rug I want to lay on the floor as well as hang all my curtains. I'll get that done uh, while I wait for my fabric to come to reupholster the chairs in the ottoman once i do that i'll change a few of the decor pieces and we'll be ready to come back 
with the reveal. So don't go away, guys. I shall return. Okay, I'm back with a little update. Um, I have started to change some of my d decor pieces. I got my rug down. Um, my husband helped me this morning. I did purchase some mirrors from Burlington's and they were $16.99. And I'm gonna replace them with the mirrors that I made. Uh, these mirrors are like 24 by 30. So I wanna put those on the wall. At first I thought I was gonna have to repaint them, but the color is actually not so bad. So I'm gonna leave the color and hang them on the wall. So I'm gonna start here on this side. You can see my decor pieces. I changed them from the black and the silver to just clear. But at any rate, that's what I'm gonna do now. Good morning, I'm back. And the master bedroom is complete. The mirrors are on the wall on either side of the bed. The bed is made and is absolutely gorgeous, if I must say so myself. I changed the decor pieces on the nightstand from black to something really simple. Everything is clear. I moved my television. And all the things on the bed came from my shopping haul. And I'll leave a link to that video in the description box. My mirrors are on the wall above the nightstand. That's one of my Burlington's fine, as well as the glass vase um, that's on the nightstand. But I did pull those from another room in the house. These are my drapes. They all came from Amazon. And I'll have those links below. Also, I added the end pieces to my curtain rods. I did not change the rods, just ordered pieces for the rods. Really stunning. And both sides of the bed are a mirror image. Once again, my white Betty was from Amazon. The quilt set, three piece and king. The gray quilt set was from Mar uh, Marshalls. My decorative pillows came from Amazon. They're actually pillow covers, all but the red one. The red one came from my local furniture store, Calumet City. Also in my shopping hall, uh, video I mentioned to you that I was going to show you a glimpse of my mattresses which came from Calumet City Furniture as well. I absolutely love them and I am going to insert a clip of them um, above. They are the Serta iComfort mattress. They are firm but yet soft. Um, the padding is wonderful and I love them. And here is my fur throw. Absolutely love it. And that is another Goodwill find. Moving on around the room, there is my curtains again. They are from Amazon. I have three large windows in the room. You see the one over the bed. There's the other one. And this is my sitting area here. I picked up these two chairs from Facebook Marketplace and I reposted them. The pillows or pillow covers, again, from Amazon. And the little candle holder is from uh, Dee Dee's. That wasn't in my shopping haul, but it, they were $5.99. I did purchase two of them. My little coasters, Dollar Tree. Gotta have some Dollar Tree. My little table was from at home. And this is where we sit to have our morning coffee. My little bench or storage bench. Again, it was a gift to me that I reupholstered. I do have a tutorial on that as well. 
again guys anything that you see in the video any merchandise anything that i've done um if i have a tutorial or if i can find the merchandise it will be in the link below if you have questions don't forget to leave that in the comment section and i do answer all my comments this is my rug on the floor once again absolutely love it it brings that spring summer vibe into the room it lightens up everything and it works great with the colors on the wall and my bedding i was looking for something large to go in this area by the tv and this is the only thing i can find this wall art that i picked up from also burlington's and it was probably about 16 dollars also my closet was a part of this makeover now i do have a tutorial on my closet but i did it in a day i did make some changes i purchased storage boxes for the bottom these are things that i have laying in the bottom of my closet i did put them in storage boxes the one at the bottom there's actually two but it's a smaller one and i have my new camera in that one i added more shelving for my handbags um still able to reach them but i added two shelves to that i have a space for all of my shoes all of my dresses and i have moved out all of my winter clothes and now it's just housing my summer clothes so i am all ready so this was i just wanted to show you guys um the few changes that i had made in the closet so check another project completed for me now let's go on and continue the tour of the master bedroom after coming out of the closet we are facing or coming to the bedroom door I'm going to close it. That bump out is the master bathroom. I have my Chester sitting there. My dresser is now where the fireplace was. And there is plenty of room. I love how moving the furniture turned out. And if you go around the corner here, this will take you to the master bathroom. There is already lots of natural light in the bathroom, but I'm going to turn on the light as well. There you are. And as you can see, I didn't do much because there's not much you can do in such a small bathroom. But I added new rugs to the floor. I added new shower curtain to the shower or the tub, as well as the window. I did a little DIY on my mirror and added a candle to the base of the tub. I made all of my decor items on the sink crystal. Also on the shelving, I housed my makeup brushes cotton balls and q-tips all in clear containers as well going around the room you can see the shower curtain at the window for my curtains you can also see my towels now i had all of these towels except the gray print ones those i did pick up from target so this is how my master bathroom turned out. Now we're going to spin around and head back into the master bedroom. Here you are. I did purchase a runner. Um, I got that from Amazon. And that does match the rug that I have on the floor. I kept my dresser simple. Everything clean. And I absolutely love my sitting area. I like how it's separate from my sleeping quarters. Also, I couldn't decide on the red or the gray pillow. Let me know what you think. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, 
and its content, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Share it with your friends and family. And last, don't forget that notification bell so you will be aware of all of my upcoming videos. I want to say thanks for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless and I'll see you in the next one.